This is Scott with Second to No One Canine Life Coaching, and I'm going to do a big no-no. You see me play with multiple dogs, multiple balls. Barney doesn't play. Max is kind of ball obsessed. So I'm going to throw one ball. I'll show you what happens. Ready? 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 See how they get hyped up by me teasing them? Oh. Let's see what happens. Oh, crap. Thank you, Barney. Uh-oh. I think the game is over. Good job, Wiley. He lost the ball. I see it, though. Max is going to push, 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 push. Good job, Max. I didn't want to go get that. <clears throat> Wiley. And then what other people try and do is call the dog off that really wants the ball. Thank you, Max. See how he keeps walking away? Max. Max. Hi. Thank you. Can I have it? <clears throat> Thank you. So, let's see what happens. That's going to cause a problem. Max just got popped in the mouth. Thank you, Max. Thank you, Wiley. Thank you, Barney. Wiley, can I have it? Wiley. Max. See how hyped up they get? See how Max is already trying to get it? Max has to learn to play Wiley's game. And usually what a lot of people will do, if they realize one dog is getting it more often than the other one, they will hold the one that's getting it all the time, hold him back. Make them sit and stay when they really want to play. Thank you, Max. Thank you, Barney. I got you, Max. Wiley. See, his movements are a lot faster. Thank you, Max. Wiley, can I have it? See if he'll take a treat. Thank you. Good. Barely. He took it and just swallowed it. Last one. I don't want to play as much longer. See how those... Oh, sorry. I missed that, guys. So it was almost an accident. Thank you, Wiley. Wiley, thank you. That's good because Wiley's still taking treats even though he didn't get the ball. Max, can I have it? And this is a lot of times we have fights too is when one dog lets it go. Barney, over here. Thank you, Max. Drop it. Thank you. All right, this is last one. I do that on purpose. I don't, I mean, I can't throw it because the bushes are in the way. I'm not going to throw it far. I only have limited space. You see how Max wants to go away with it? He's trying to get away from everybody else. Max, so it's not a proper game of fetch, is it? He didn't come to me. He came away from Wiley so he can have the ball. Thank you, Wiley. Thank you, Barney. Wiley. Thank you. Oh, not taking the treat. Here. Thank you. Now he took it. Max, let it go. Max, leave it. Thank you. And now the ball's all white. That's upset. That's getting close to, we need water now. That was it. Last one. All right, go potty. Oh, Max, let me find something else to do. So that's another reason. If I didn't work with Wiley on ball obsessive behaviors and what I want with the ball, we could have had more issues. Thank you, Wiley. Thank you, Barney. All right, you guys ready? Thank you, Max. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go get some water. Wiley may not be tired, and he didn't get a fair shot at the ball at the time. Well, yeah, he did. It was about two and two. So it was even. But he saw how much more they were focused on getting the ball and actually interacting. They don't like that. Or how they're trying to get away from the other dogs with the ball, not caring about the human. That's very important because you should be the safe spot of playing ball with a dog. They should be able to have the ball safely. Everybody should get their own. That's why I always throw multiple balls with the dogs. If I have, if I had these two, well, obviously not always, but if I have these two, normally I would throw three because I'll Max would go find every single one. And if he goes to try and find every single one, then nobody else really has a chance. So if I only have one, he gets it. And you saw what he does. He goes away and hides. And what he tries to do is he goes behind me, whoever threw the ball. That's him trying to feel safe. 
while he's trying to play with the ball. So, and he's over there looking, not in right now, but when we had the ball, he was over there trying to wait for Max to drop it, see if he can get to it. I don't want that. I don't want them focused on one. See, he was so busy trying to play, he forgot he had to go poo. I don't want the dogs to constantly focus on the ball. I want them to focus on me. They'll bring me the ball. They can have it. They can relax with it. Thank you, Max. And I can reward behaviors I want repeated. Help them feel safe while they're playing. I'm not going to make one stop and sit while I throw the, other, throw the ball for the other one. That doesn't teach them anything except that they can't do something. And I get some overstimulated to go play again. Thank you, Barney. All right, Max. So this is Scott with Second to No One Canine Life Coaching. Oh, and you bit your tongue too, Max. Throw more balls than dogs. If you have three, throw four. If you have two, throw three. Always have the extra. Go get it. So otherwise you see what happens. They constantly focus on just the ball and not you. And when they're trying to focus on you, the other dog's trying to get the ball. That creates an issue that creates ball obsessive behaviors that creates problems that dogs want to be protective over the ball which turns into resource guarding because they don't know when they're going to get it again i want them to all have a fair shake of getting it so this is scott with seconds no one can i life coaching have a great day